Yo guys, how's it going? Today we're doing a QA, and a just like the good old times, except the boys aren't here with me today. Pretty much the other day, I put this question poll thing on my Instagram, and you guys could ask me whatever questions you wanted to. It didn't have to be photography related at all, but I'm hoping there is a few photography related questions, because otherwise it's just not going to be that interesting. <laughs> anyway, let's hop into the video and see what questions you guys ask me. I'm actually interested to uh, check these out. First question. <laughs> Mate, oi Tom, actually come in the video, it'll be funny. Jax underscore photos 88 asked me, should I start vlogging? And of course I'm going to say yes. You just need to, if you're going to start something, you should just do it. Don't get thinking about it because you're probably not going to end up starting it. So if you just say, I'm going to start vlogging, the day you say it, do it. So Jax photos, start vlogging right now, mate. At this very moment, make a video. It can be about anything. Can you hate it? Would you have sex with a cat? <laughs> Dog's my uh, type of option usually. <laughs> When did you get your camera? Uh, well, it depends if you're talking about my new camera or not, but I got my new camera about, I got my Sony a7 Mark III about two years ago. So guys, I would've got my first camera at 13 years old, and my first camera was a Nikon D3400. Omar Wasim, Wasim. He's, um, he wants me to be in his podcast, and I'm gonna go on his podcast. I think it might be this weekend, so I'm keen for that. But he asked, would you rather only make YouTube videos or only make IG content for the rest of your life. It's a tough decision. What would you do? I mean, you do more Instagram than where you do YouTube, so I would say Instagram. And you get more stuff from Instagram. So I would say Instagram. Um, yeah. I'm going with Instagram. <laughs> Nikon or Sony? <laughs> Easy one. It's either like, it's, it's basically just stabbing a knife through a throat, <laughs> or just like actually not having a wound. Obviously Nikon. Favorite shot you've taken by Joel Bernoth. The king, he actually won the giveaway. My favorite shot that I've taken is this one right here. It was on a really rainy night, and it was just it was just perfect. And I love the edit that I put on it. It just all matched together. It really told the story in the photo, which was um sick. Photography or videography by four foot underscore photography. As you start with it, that's what you always do. All the time. What am I doing right now? Now you mean? You take yeah. Photography's always been where I started off with guys, so I'm gonna have to do photography for this one. Alright, I'm off. <laughs> dream car. My dream car there would probably have to be a Porsche 911 Turbo S. It's just absolutely beautiful, mate. You can't go wrong with it. It's amazing. Shit, the seat is moving. Biggest inspirations. Sometimes your biggest inspiration doesn't have to be someone that big, but one of my biggest inspirations are North Waters and Seventh Era. They're Melbourne photographers. And I've met up with them multiple times. Such inspiring guys that it's just good to hang around with them because they really motivate you to create and create with them. Right now I'm with Liam. Say hi to the vlog, mate. buddy. Hello, lovely. <laughs> and we got Mike here. Hey, what the fuck's going on? Hope you're having a shit one. <laughs> no, get no. out of the vlog. This is my <laughs> vlog. How are you, mate? <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to shoot the local boys first. But um, if you're talking big, big inspirations, I'm going to shoot Sam Calder. I, I look up to his work so much and his videos are just amazing, like out of this world. You, have, you wouldn't have seen a video like his. How do you afford your gear? I afford my gear by working with the stuff I have and saving up for better equipment. So I used to start off with a, I used to start off with a Nikon. And I just kept working and working and then soon enough, you'll end up with a Sony A7 Mark III. <laughs> You're so young, how did you get so good at photography and get all the knowledge so quick? I wouldn't say I'm that good. Like, <laughs> there's so many other better people out there but I definitely have improved over the years because I've already been doing photography for about four years. Definitely a solid four years. And I've learned so many new skills over those past four years. So you just need to keep growing every single day. Try something new. It doesn't matter if you stuff up because it's all a learning experience. The more you stuff up, the more you learn about your camera and all the functions that it has. When are you going to make editing followers photos video? <laughs> That's a really good idea and I definitely want to make that video because I want to edit the photos that you guys have because I've seen some of your shots and they're actually really good. So I'd definitely be keen to make that video. Click underscore five. Thanks for the good idea, mate. What's your favorite camera to use? It's obviously going to be the Sony. What's your favorite thing about taking photos? My favorite thing about taking photos isn't just capturing the moment through my eyes. I love meeting with new people and I can do that really well with a camera. The amount of people I've met by doing photography is actually incredible. Like Joel and Alex, we didn't even know about photography when we first met. And all of a sudden, us boys have a whole company to ourselves. We all have Sonys. It just, it grows over time. Photography is just a way for me to stay creative and, and for me to show you how I see the world through my eyes. 
Joel asked, why do you use Sony? The reason why I use Sony, Joel, is because it's the best camera on the market at, at this very moment. <laughs> if you're watching this video, get my camera. If you can afford it, of course. Anyways. Where's your favorite country that you visited? My favorite country that I've ever visited would have to be England. Or maybe France. When will we see the turkey video come out? Okay, this is a big project that I've been working on, so I'm really taking my time on it, and I've just been putting it aside for a lot, but this turkey video that I'm making is an absolute banger. You guys will absolutely love it. It's the most cinematic video that I've ever made, and it probably lives up to Sam Calder's standards. No. What inspired you to start photography? I'm gonna tell you guys the classic story. We were riding around, Joel, Alex and I, on our penny boards that we used to ride around the city with. We used to film videos on our phone, and I, I was the first person to start recording that. So then we started playing around with our cameras a lot more, and then we just started to get into photography and all that sort of stuff. That's pretty much the story of how we got into photography. It's actually a pretty good story, not gonna lie. You wouldn't have expected just three boys riding around on penny boards to become the photographers we are today. Good ice cream! There's nowhere to stop! Dude, it's all What's your favorite YouTube video you've ever filmed? It's not like anything special, but I love this video. It's with Joel, Alex, and Ben, and we did a QA together, so it's one of these videos. What medical conditions do you have? Um, <laughs> Alex is a friend. And it was just the funniest video <laughs> that I've ever made. I actually love it so much, and um, yeah, that was just a fun day out with the boys. Or the day when I was with Joel and we were at St. Kilda Pier. And we just run around St Kilda Pier pretty much with horse masks on. And just went around and trolled people. It was the most funniest thing we ever did. So yeah, we've definitely made a few memories on this YouTube channel, it's fair to say. Who is your favourite person to take photos with? My favourite person to take photos with, well not person, but persons, would have to be Joe and Alex. It's just the day one. It's the boys. Love you boys. Meadow visuals. Dream locations to visit. A, my dream location that I want to visit is New York. It's literally a city like no other. I've never seen a city like New York. It's so big and every photo that you get at New York, it's always going to be a bad one. You can't get a shit photo in New York. It's definitely one of my cities on my bucket list and I'm definitely going to get there in the future. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comments below because I always love making Q&As. When I'm making Q&As, I don't even have to worry about focusing on anything, I can just say whatever I want because you guys just ask me questions and you want me to answer them. So, it's just basically talk shit for uh, six minutes. So that's probably what I've done in this video right here. But if you guys want me to make more Q&As in the future, let me know in the comments below. Or if you guys just didn't enjoy this video, please leave a like, just chuck that a comment in the comments because why not. And uh, if you guys love my video so much, you guys will subscribe because you're here now, so make sure to check this up. Please have a like, subscribe, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!